Hello, hello there, my name is Kiribako and I'm your host and your voice with a voice. Here's to give you a very, very um, coincidental announcement, I guess. As since I have like an artist background behind me, and as most people might already uh, expect it, I made everything myself. Uh, my Ole, my this and that yeah that stuff animations emote uh even like on twitter those kind of like meme art and of course even my uh vtuber model everything i made by myself all right all right aside from bragging about all those things actually i have reason making this video um yeah um if not lots of people know about this i am actually um doing lots of art commission back in the days and uh mainly due to reasons that uh, I have like a, some sort of like very complicated like medical issues and uh, technically I am stuck in a uh, disabled but not disabled positions. Uh, I guess like you guys you guys can see this uh, a little bit segments to understand this a little bit more. But obviously, um, for those who already know my conditions or they kind of like uh, watch the video I'm going to show, uh, they can just skip through this. Like here, here is the time code for you guys to just like skip through it, skim through it, or just like scroll through it <laughs> or click through it. <laughs> really depends. But yeah, here we go. I don't know if I, I think I did thank you. I want to thank you once again for the bunch of fan art that you made for me. Mm, mm. But too bad I'm slowly closing my gate for drawing. <laughs> Tenaga is no. still drawing. It's just that my eye is busted, so I don't want to like uh draw too much. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. In uh for yeah, about your eye, is mm. eye surgery on the table? No. Or is because that the doctors say my eye is weird and is out of the oh. field. Uh, because like oh. they check how my eye mm -hmm. functions. They told mm -hmm. me I might have, I, they don't know why I don't really have glaucoma, but they have, they seen my eye have sign of being damaged by glaucoma for some reasons. If, oh. you, if you don't know what glaucoma is, something that like your eyeball like have like very high water pressure inside there. Mm. And it kind of like open up your like eye nerve and then it might and like worst case scenario it will blind at you if you don't take medications so there's damage caused by glaucoma but they say they don't didn't find any glaucoma yeah because my eyeball don't have any like pressuring pressure pressure issues and since i told them like the corner of my vision on my right eye is getting like darkened and then it's like having like mm. vignette and then there's mm -hmm. like this one black ball over there like just blocking me when i close my eyes it's actually really bright for some reason i don't know why and okay then that's a weird case so uh they take a look inside my eyes uh and they told me i don't have a cataract i don't have mm -hmm. retina detachment i do have uh -huh. some floater but not enough to like have that kind of effect oh uh, what they found out is weird is my eye is weirdly old weirdly old as in like is it aging faster seems like that it's like you use your eyes so much to the point it's like basically when your eyes looks old means that like it's a wear and tear you kind of like oh, use dear. so much to the point i add an extra 50 year into my eyes could it be like like streaming and stuff Nah, so many people actually does like streaming job or like that. Like, try to think of this. Office worker might mm -hmm. have looked at screen more than me. Mm -hmm. To be honest. Yeah. And not a lot of people going blind this way. So the thing is like they're curious like why? Like they've seen a lot of people eyeball like inside, but they mm -hmm. found out like they don't know why my eye like show a lot of sign of aging. It's like all those veins are popping out. My nerve is a little bit above, like opening up, like above, like average than most people have, like slightly above average. But the rest of the stuff is like have like a sign of like very old person eye. It's like someone swapped my eyeball. <laughs> okay, so it's so it's not really sort of like a like a stress thing. Is could it be? 
Do they rule out that it is a genetic my... thing? Eh? Like a genetics? Nah, I told them about like my other like disabilities. It's like uh, it's called AICA vestibular loop. That thing is like the blood vessel in your ears. It's a little bit tangling with your entangled with your like um, ear nervous system. Oh dear. So, uh, depends on which part, like specific part, like that blood vessel is touching. Uh, it will give you a different effect. Some people, the worst case scenario, you go deaf. Some people like have like hearing in their ears, uh, ringing in their ears. Or uh, some people have some facial twitch. Uh, some people have like um, vertigo. I got the vertigo kind, so I got like permanent twenty four seven vertigo. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, what, if you don't know what vertigo I... is, it's basically like your entire world is spinning. Oh. God, wow. So I in a state of constant spinning. So I'm in the state of constant dizziness. It's a little bit hard to focus. It's literally touching the nerve. Uh... So it's a permanent thing. And uh, I, and mine is already at stage two for some reason. And both my ears have the same is- issues. Basically, they oh have like uh, certain length issues. Uh, I think I have it. Hold on. So you can kind of like see this thing. Um, there's like. Two different thing. It's like this is stage uh, type one. The length mm-hmm. is kind of like imagine like the this yellow is nerve. They are shooting out. You can kind of like see from here. Mm-hmm. They're shooting out mm-hmm. here. And this is like the blood vessel for people. It's like normally it's just straight line. You already have a normally uh, by. Oh, normally like see, but a little this bit just long. has a kink in it. And flexed it and kind of like it's already coming out and then your blood vessel already touching it. So it depends on how invasive the touching is. You can see like there are people who can literally it's like loop around and doesn't do jack shit because it's still kind of like touching but not actually touching it. Mm-mm. So you can have like stage three but nothing happened to you. Depends on how the loop is like touching your stuff. Oh, okay. So mine is like on stage uh, type two. Uh, it's already mm-hmm. like at, at like a decent like long length and. Those thing kind of like uh, in a state. Uh, mine is like it seems like touching like a lots of stuff, and worst thing is both of my ears have these issues. Usually, it's just one ears. Okay. Mine have both it's ears. Just... <laughs> oh, what? So it's like double whammy. And here's the thing: I might also have the sign of Meniere disease too. Oh my god! What was? <laughs> And this keeps, since this, this thing keeps is up. What the this world? thing is like touching your nervous system, but Meniere disease is the organ itself as has issues, so I would have double whammy of vertigo if I'm not lucky. Not double whammy, more like triple whammy. Oh my god! Oh wow, Kia Day disease. So okay. if I'm unlucky, I can be very dizzy. But at the end. Worst thing in in Malaysia, this mm-hmm. thing is not a disability. Wait, like the the vertical? Yep. Specifically, okay, that this doesn't. A I C arterial inferior cerebral artery is oh. not a disability. Oh, it's not considered a disability. Yeah, in many countries, yes, but not in Malaysia. Okay, all right. Ah. but the but the blood, the blindness in one eye and. The... Uh, that, the reason I have that is because vertigo, like if you try to play like the game, like spin in the chair, for, like fifty round, and then try to stand up, you feel like your entire mm-hmm. world is spinning. Even you uh, don't try to move your eyes, your eyes is like slowly look to the left or right, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. since I have like a very low key vertigo, it's like my vertigo is not actually that strong. Uh, okay. This is why, like, for lots of like doctors, they. Really ignore this kind of condition a lot because it's like a resource intensive nothing burger. <laughs> Ooh, so, okay. um, in a way to say like, I am those kind of people who are in a state of ver- having vertigo, almost recovered but never recovered. It's like at that meters like still have it but haven't really really like fully recovered. Technically, I can work, uh-huh. but but then... if I do that. It will become the time that I would just go to work, come back, die, and then wake up, go to work, come back, die, wake up, go to work, come back, die, 
And then yeah. the rest I, of the day, even like I, even I don't, even I was like in a perfect job. I got two weekend like free. I would still stay in my home, laying on my bed, dying, because like I, I basically power through my conditions to work for that five day. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I guess uh, you guys like now learn something about me. Uh, if you guys watch the video, but if you guys skip everything, is like long story short, it's just a, uh, very weird medical conditions that's kind of like a resource intensive nothing burger. Um, I stay in the limbo that is kind of like you're not bad enough to become disabled, but you're also not well enough to become able. Um. It's 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 a uh, like a head scratcher even for like doctors. <laughs> Every single time I get to see a doctor, they always like have like a round table discussions about my conditions. It's just a little bit rare and weird. <laughs> But yeah, like as it's stated, I'm like retired from like doing uh art commissions. Maybe sometimes I would do some exceptions. Um, aside from that, I don't really will so sort of like actively like sell my art commissions unless it's like a friend asks me or something like that. Um, or I personally want to like draw something that for myself. Yeah, then I will actually still like do drawing and like do every other things. But as you guys kind of like can notice, um, I say again, uh, due to my medical stuff, I cannot work, and now. My eyes is kind of like uh busted. Uh, I have to refrain from like overworking my eyes from doing way too much like uh art commissions. But art commission is the thing that I kind of like uh at the moment sustaining out of. So stopping that right now is kind of like stop all my income. And yeah, I guess you guys like kind of like uh understand like what I'm going to at this. If you guys are um want to help out, uh, there's always a way. Uh, sometimes I do like a funding donation drive, uh, for myself, and I also have a Patreon that you guys can sign in. Uh, the Patreon uh, and have this and yada yada stuff. And you guys do notice like my background have like one particular one that have, um, colored one like floating around. That one is one of my Patreon supporters. And uh, yes, if you signed my Patreon, you get like a chibi version of you, like plastered behind me, uh, most of the time, and all content that you can see this board. And yeah, it's it's like a low key point to like do a lot of shout out every single time I mention it. Of course, I'm going to mention it. One, thank you, my smiles, for being my supporter. And yeah. Very appreciate your help, but again, like I have a lot of way to do like a uh, different type of like way to kind of like can donate to me. I do have like the stream element tip link. Um, usually in my YouTube uh descriptions, you guys can click it down there and then uh take a look at it. If it's for like the social media, of course I will like put it on my post. If you guys already like noticed that thing, uh, if you guys want to support, like I I really appreciate it. But if you guys do want to have something way more special, well there is the uh pixel art like funding drive like stream that I do. Uh, sometimes I do stream while like uh. Asking for a donation at the same time. Um, those stream that I'm practically just like sacrificing my eye time for like for you guys. And basically, uh, is peep if people like uh donate around that time like five bucks above, um, they want me to draw like uh if they are VTuber, they want me to draw them. Then nah, of course I will draw you guys like in pixel art. Or um, if you guys have like some Oshi or like your favorite VTuber or any other things that want me to draw, uh, I will try to draw that thing. Just because it's pixel art, I, I use like less concentration or like you know like less brain power to actually use that. Uh, do the do the drawing, less rendering stuff, you know. But yeah, 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 just just those things. So I have this um. Funding drive is basically like a, like a donation drive for Kiri Vaku Foundations, which will pay Kiri Vaku for keep living and doing like more uh art content for you guys. But uh, why do I starting to want more money? Uh, it's actually quite easy. Uh, I don't want to do everything myself anymore. Uh, like I say. Everything I did myself, all my Ole, my VTuber avatar, this and that, yeah, stuff. And I have like so many ideas and so many things I want to do. And my 
uh, content nowadays is like I want to like lean more toward uh, a collab type of content but every single things I do I need a lot of resources like overlay and art and almost like quite lots of things I have to do um, I have to spend quite lots of time look at a screen which is not the best idea at the moment um, even though my one of my eyes is like slowly blinded uh, I still want to draw but I want to draw things like actually like something like for myself I know like everything like all the overlay stuff uh, it is drawing for myself but I mean like I want to draw something like I really personally want to enjoy before that I went out of commissions <laughs> and I, I'm not sure like that I will like go out or not to be honest the, the I don't want to think too much about it but yeah like it's guaranteed sure like I have other conditions that will slowly worsen like how my eyes work because um, sometimes my eye does flicker I mean like the like it just like turn off and on I'm not kidding about it sometimes it does scan the, scan the crap out of me but yeah um so if anyone like uh want to you can kind of like uh go into my patreon or sometimes uh you can see i do the stream call like a donation drive uh practically just for me uh sadly again like my my conditions is rather unique so unique to the fact there's no foundation for it <laughs> Like, if anyone have, like, similar conditions like I am and suffering the same thing, who knows? Maybe maybe if I actually, like, get more than I needed, I, I'll, I'll try to donate some, for, some to you particularly. But you, you do have to, like, prove the conditions, like, with the MRI and stuff. Uh, but if you're going to say you can't take an MRI because you don't have money for it in the first place, then... Um... But again, like, I, 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 this, that is not a promise, like... I, I do sympathize your uh, issues, but again, like this is like a very weird case, like like the video, like or if you guys didn't see it properly, uh, or forgot, um, different people have a little bit like different condition with this like uh, disability conditions. This is why like it's it's a very uh, complicated issues, even like among like the medical field and stuff. So yeah, it's it's like. You might have it, but also same time you doesn't really like have anything that happened to you. Uh, some people like have a lot. Some people like have a less. And also depends on the person mentally. Uh, mentally too. It's like you can get like prick, uh, by a cactus, and then you already roll on the ground yelling mummy. And then like there are people who literally get stabbed and be like, oh, I got stabbed, huh? Is that go to the hospital then? Like. People deal with pain tolerance differently, and also people deal with this particular conditions differently too. Um, so far, the doctors say I'm being like adapting like really well. But here's the thing: um, the moment that my eyes starting to have issues, I realize this one thing is like even you kind of like have a ability to adapt to your condition like really really well to the point that you are just just look at a normal person day-to-day -day life but doesn't mean like your body aren't straining itself you know it's like imagine like a person born with like one arm he already like lived through his entire life with one arm and he got used to it a long time ago and then he is a very capable person that can do all the tasks that require two arms with just one arm. Maybe sometimes have a little bit of difficulty, but generally most of the time he's just looking like a normal person. But obviously obviously like you, you can see like he's he's missing an, an arm. Um, but still, again, um, he's doing very fine. He can uh, he can do all the tasks uh, almost all the tasks with two arms without any issues. Heck, it might be even better than most people with two arms. But here's the thing, being able to adapt that well doesn't, it's kind of like a negative too, because like sometimes people just forgot the fact that you only have one arm. And even the person himself forgot that he's actually like doing two arms job with one arm. And once times kind of like grinds through your life, and you realize that that arm of yours that you're so proud of being so adaptable that can do everything um, 
it might get a little bit rusty way too quickly. Like, uh, basically, like, if we adapt to our own situations, of course, we use other part of our body or, like, just what remains, like, basically run on overdrive to, like, compensate what we have, like, uh, missing. So, that arm is going to get sold really fast. That arm is going to, like, get old really fast. All the wear and tear, all the joint pain, and all the muscle tensions, and maybe a little bit, like, um, wrist issues, this and that. Yeah, that stuff. All things will kind of, like, start popping out much more earlier than I think. And just like my eyes. Actually, my eyes is, like, stressing a lot just from um, trying to focus on one side. This is why sometimes you can see, like, my eyes, like, uh, even like the VTuber model, you kind of can notice that like, sometimes my eyes just like slowly look to different directions and then I have to like refocus back my eyes. Um, those kind of things actually does happen. And those things are slowly drifted like without any knowing and then like once I notice, I will just like force it back or I have to constantly be aware of it and forcing it back. So if I do any tasks, I have to like hyper focus my eyesight and then it's going to strain way more than most people does and again like why did i use that one arm analogy because like people have two arms so if you uh, like everyone with two arms they were bound to have like sometimes have some restriction like maybe you're holding something with like left hand you have to do something with right hand so you guys can like much more um you know related to those kind of situations and so this way is my easier way to like explain it to you guys. So now you guys like kind of like already understand like my kind of like situations. So yeah, this is why the main reason I'm starting to do all those things. And in case like I yap a little bit too much and lost the context. Uh, yeah, it's just about me trying to like uh, tell you about this uh, and I need money. <laughs> why I need money um, is very simple um i don't do do everything alone i have to pay people to help me do some stuff of course um unlike um most things like horror shows that happens in lots of like art commissions uh scene i i do want to pay artists but i'm an unemployed person so i do i i hope you guys like i, I can give like some sort of like, exchange i do awesome stuff you guys come in, enjoy your time, and then also give some money so I can do even more awesome stuff in the future. Uh, yeah. That'll be all. Uh, I guess, like, thank you very much for everyone. So, like, stay here, have a little bit, like, fun time, listen to it while you're kind of, like, working on your own things, or have some fun on your own, all those kind of stuff. Why you listen to all this, maybe a little bit like some podcast-ish like kind of situations. Uh, speaking about podcasts, actually I would want to make one too, just like for fun chat with like lots of like uh, different VTuber. Because I, uh, if you guys kind of already know, I, I, I kind of like a person who can talk infinitely. Because, well, to be honest, like once like every single body just give you false informations the only thing that doesn't really bother me or like i struggle that much is talking so i really enjoy talking a lot this is why i kind of like yap a lot <laughs> but yeah 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 anyway thank you very much for watching and as always stay healthy stay safe until next time stay tuned on the next stream all video, all anything that does. Bye-bye.